Uh, from my perspective, one of the things that I come across uh, on a day-to-day -day basis that I think everybody does is when we start talking about correspondence just between people. I mean, this is a day-to-day -day activity that we all do right at this point. It's sort of the beginning point. Um, there are things that I might want to do privately, okay, that I would, you know, I'd love to be able to walk over to somebody who I knew and say certain things to them if I knew that they had the same interests as me. I can do that over the web because I can search out people with similar interests, but at the same time, I don't want that necessarily to be public uh, accessible, whether it be in a court of law, etc. I don't want a conversation to necessarily be something that is subpoenable and put into a court and all of a sudden I have a public record that everybody sees on some what I consider private thoughts or private conversations. And because I can't do that, I can't extend the conversations that I have on the net to things that I wouldn't necessarily keep in the back of my mind. I'm not sure that I'm necessarily fearful for the future of technology. I think that one way or the other will sort of evolve and we'll tackle these problems one way or the other. What I really fear is that we will slow down that progress with um, either our commercial interests sort of working with the political interests to say, you know what, we need these particular laws and not realizing their impact and how they're going to slow down the progress. I think the progress is going to be there one way or the other because we as humans are going to evolve into this space. What I'd want to see happen is the ability for us to really expand on some of the social networking that we're seeing right now, which is we're going to be able to go and really accelerate the types of social interactions that we have so that if I go online I'm going to be able to instantly search out people of similar interests of similar um, thought processes and be able to interact with them real time or whatever so that social networking becomes easy fast and second nature and we really don't necessarily have that yet Wow. Uh, more than 10 years out, okay, is going to be more of a man-machine interface that is, enables us to directly access the web or any information, any virtual information, directly without necessarily having a separate device that we actually have to access to get rid of the fumbling that we all do, whether it's typing, talking, or whatever, and be able to directly access it. So it's basically just sort of offline storage or interaction space for us. And, you know, sort of a blackboard that we can all work with. That would be sort of beyond the 10-year mark, something that I would see really enabling. Uh, exciting. It really is. There's just too much going on. Cool. Great.